Hi brothers and sisters in Christ, it is July 8th and I just want to make a quick video because my car charger isn't working. And uh, to tell you about two dreams I had, it's not that I think they're necessarily prophetic but representative or indicative of a state of things. But back to back mornings, yesterday morning and this morning, I had a dream of a celebrity who was brought low. And I think the first thing I'll do is read Isaiah chapter 2 verse 11 and 12. And this is what God's going to do. He's going to abase everyone that has exalted themselves because the glory belongs to him alone. And then either people will repent and call on Jesus Christ or they will go to hell. And it says in chapter 2, verse 11 of Isaiah, The lofty looks of man shall be humbled and the haughtiness of men shall be bowed down. And the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. For the day of the Lord of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty and upon everyone that is lifted up, and he shall be brought low. So my first dream yesterday morning was of Matt Damon, the actor from Good Will Hunting and The Born Identity and those movies, that he was working at Burger King. This was his job now. He was Matt Damon who worked at Burger King. He was behind the counter. I walked in and he was the one who would take your order and give you your food. But he wanted to be acknowledged as Matt Damon. He was still acting like the personality you see um, in public of Matt Damon, of, you know, nice guy, could be your best buddy, um, go and have a beer, just happens to make millions of dollars working in Hollywood. But the thing is, we know, if we've been watching the signs of the times, like every other celebrity, athlete, mega billionaire, politicians, they they do the symbols of the devil in their photo shoots or they get captured in real life just making these hand signs and it's to show us who see and themselves in their club basically who they are they do the 666 hand signs the devil horn signs they cover one eye and these are scriptural things that and, and illuminati things that reveal the spirits working in them so in my dream, Matt Damon really wanted to be acknowledged as himself, Matt Damon, the actor, even though he now worked at Burger King. But when I wouldn't acknowledge him, that spirit in him, that desire to worship, that belongs only to God, got really angry and he stormed off through a swinging back door to the kitchen at Burger King. And I called after him saying, I've seen all your 666 photos. I've seen all your one-eyed photos letting him know I knew what was in him because by the grace of God and the Holy Spirit and the Word of God, we have come to know the truth. We've come out of darkness into the light, out of the kingdom of Satan into the kingdom of God. But they're still held captive. The devil takes us captive at his will until we're born again. And it's because he can work in those vessels whose hearts really do desire what God says not to. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life, the deceitfulness of riches, you know, all the things that are immoral and against God that the children of disobedience still really want and like and they cling to. Unless they can recover themselves from the snare of the devil, you know, by the grace of God unto repentance. And we pray for this. Now, unless their mind is completely reprobate and their conscience is seared and they no longer even have a bit of light in them you know then they're gone and they've completely been given over to that side and only the lord knows but that's how i was shown matt damon and he really wanted to be worshipped and acknowledged and all those things now this morning i had a dream of the actor alec baldwin and in this dream it was very pitiful because all i saw very briefly was a very emaciated alec baldwin being helped into a wheelchair and he was wearing oxygen oxygen tubing to his nose and his face was so thin, but his eyes were really big in that thin face, and, and he was terrified. He was terrified. And there were a couple people around him and helping him into this wheelchair in front of a building, probably a hospital. And I'm not saying these are prophetic about what will actually happen to these two men, these actors, but they were abased. They were brought down. They were humbled. And they either will or won't repent. I know Alec Baldwin has a brother, Billy Baldwin, who professes Jesus Christ, says he's born again, and, you know, maybe something he would speak could help this man repent. 
but the terror in his eyes, I don't know if it was about death or death and knowing he's going to hell. Who knows? I don't, only the Lord knows. So I just wanted to mention those two scenes. Also in the Burger King dream with Matt Damon after he'd left, a woman came in to pick up her order of food and it was a really big metal shallow tray and it wasn't your typical Burger King food. It was like a two and a half or three foot square metal shallow tray and all it was on it was lots of meat 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 covered in gravy probably like a hundred portions of whatever this meat was covered in a white brown gravy and she was like okay well that'll be all right that's fine i'm sure it'll be okay and it made me think along with seeing matt damon and alec baldwin brought low when this economy breaks when there's food shortages and leading the famine and people are realizing everything they cared about is being taken from them unless they take the mark of the beast um Whereas Burger King was always known as have it your way. Uh, this was more like whatever you get, you'll be happy with. And don't even ask what that mystery meat in gravy is. You know, it's just it's edible. You probably don't want to know, but that's how it, that's the sense I had of it. And there'd be a lot more to say, and I would rather quote more scripture, but my phone has died a couple times and I've done a couple takes. So let me leave it at that. And all it tells me is keep being a light proclaim Jesus Christ, proclaim the end time signs. There's so much we know that no other generation has even really actually understood, but by the grace of God and the Holy Spirit and the word of God, we do know more of the truth of what this wicked, wicked world is. And the devils in these people, they're real, they're spirits. Jesus used to cast them out. But once, you know, it's what you really want, they got you. And if there's a little space to repent, that's by the grace of God. All right, in Jesus' name, God bless you. Bye-bye.